Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to cover every romance that is available on Cyberpunk. There are 7 romances in total and then 2 bonus ones on Jig Jig Street in Westbrook. I'm not going to spoil any more than I need to and this is simply a guide on how to romance each character so that you can do it on your playthrough. You are unable to romance all 7 characters in one playthrough because some have preferences and it will depend on how you created your character. So if you want to romance them all, you will need to create multiple characters. I also have timestamps down in the video description if you just want to know about certain ones. If you enjoyed this video then please be sure to give it a like and a share and then consider subscribing if you are new to the channel for more content like this. Before we start, there are a few tips for this video. Most characters require important dialogue options to be selected and these will all be covered. Any dialogue options that I don't cover are not important but you should always go with what you feel will be the right response. What I mean by this is if there are two options and you feel one of them would make the character upset or angry then choose the other option that won't. Like I said, these are not important but too many negative responses could lead to you not romancing them even if you get the important choices right. Also, a lot of these romances are built up over multiple side quests for that character. To get the next side quest to unlock after completing one, just advance time by 24 hours every now and then in game and complete other activities while you're waiting. They will eventually contact you to continue. And finally, after romancing some characters, you can turn your friendship into a relationship with them. This does not mean that you'll be able to romance them again, no. They will just simply text you from time to time. And it doesn't matter how many relationships that you have, the others don't get jealous or angry. So first, I'm going to start with a romance that automatically happens, and this is with Alt Cunningham. There are no requirements for this romance at all, as it is part of the main story, and you'll be seeing this through the past through Johnny's eyes. This happens just over halfway through the main quest in a quest called Never Fade Away. Next up are the two bonus ones that can be found on Jig Jig Street in Westbrook. You will find them here on the map and you are looking for the two lip icons. These are not really romances but there is a male and a female here and they are both bisexual so it doesn't matter what gender your character is. They are called Joy Toys and they charge 100 eddies for their services. You can use both of the services as often as you like. Meredith Stout is the first romance we are going to look at that has requirements. She is bisexual so it doesn't matter what gender you are but you do have to perform some actions to initiate a fling with her. This starts very early in the game on the main quest called the Pickup. You'll be given an optional objective to call Meredith and she will arrange a meet before you go and do a task. Go to this meet and chat with her or you'll lose the opportunity to have a fling with her. During this chat, do not attack her bodyguards, and it is best if you do not accept the chip that she offers you like I did. You can still have a fling with her if you accept this, but then there are more options later that can go wrong. Just select these dialogue options during this chat. Shake hand correct. I just want to talk. Yep, all by my lonesome. Don't know him. You want info. I want a bot. Let's make a deal. No way. Not happening. After this, you'll head to the Maelstorm Gang at the food processing plant. You want to take down Royce when you can in this mission. When you get to the dialogue section, just choose Sit, Calm Jackie, Jackie Sit Down, I'll Pass, Show It To Me, We'll Take It, Really Expect Me To Pay Twice, Prepare To Offer Us A Discount, Take Down Royce, Shoot Royce. Then once you escape the hideout, Meredith will appear to close the quest off. Only if you have performed these steps will she turn up. If she doesn't, then you have failed and cannot romance her. But as long as she does appear at the end, later on in the game she'll send you a text message. It doesn't matter which reply that you choose, but send a reply and she will ask to meet up with you. This becomes a side quest that you can select on your map, so just go and meet her, and once there, do not exit the room. If you do, you'll lose the quest. Make sure that you speak with her, and you will romance her. Pan Am is next and she'll only romance with you if you have a male character and you start working on this romance from an early mission called Ghost Town. During this mission after getting Pan Am's car back you'll have a choice of dialogue where you want to pick OK so where's the hideout and she'll thank you for having her back. I have lost the video footage but at the end of this mission you'll go to a bar with Pan Am and in this conversation you want to choose drink to your ride, maybe we just get one room and then not exactly what I meant. Pan Am will agree to take the one room but only to save money. Money and this is fine. From here just pick any dialogue during the rest of this quest and for the life during wartime quest as well that you feel will help towards romance in her. Not all decisions are important but choose the dialogue which you feel she wants to hear. The next important dialogue with Pan Am comes in the first side quest called Riders of the Storm. When you are asked why you are helping be sure to pick Rio Tombs, that's why and do not say that you're doing it for the money. 
Panam will also ask if you want to ride with her to the enemy camp. Say yes and make sure that you head straight there. If you divert, she'll not be happy and she'll kick you out of the car. And you also have a chance of failing this quest if you do not go straight to the enemy camp. If you fail, Panam will send you an angry text message and delete you from her contacts. After rescuing Saul and escaping to the hut, be sure to pick shitty idea, Panam is right when you get the option to do that, she'll thank you for that the next morning. But also, later in this conversation, choose to touch Panam's thigh, this is important and she will block your advances but this is okay. The next important choice comes in Panam's next side quest called With a Little Help From My Friends. Right at the start of this quest, she must not tell Saul about Panam's plans. Select any dialogue but this. Again, just keep selecting dialogue options through this quest that you feel will help you, but the next important one comes after you have found the punch card at the top of the control tower. When you get the option, pick touch Panam's hand, next time try following your impulse. When at the campfire, you'll choose a dialogue option to scrooge closer, kinda getting cold, and you'll have a romantic moment here that is important to romance in her. And then in the final quest called Queen of the Highway, after you have driven the tank and shot at some stuff, you'll get a dialogue option with a kiss icon to let Panam touch you as long as everything else leading up to this was right. Select this option and you'll romance Panam. At the very end of this quest, Panam will walk out of the camp with you and you can kiss her goodbye to end the quest and start a relationship with her. Next up is Judy. Judy is a lesbian, so if you chose a male character like I did, then you'll not be able to romance her. I can still talk you through this process though, because you still get to go through most of the dialogue options with her, and I will include all of the information that you need. Like with Panam, I am just going to go over all of what I feel are the important decisions to make this romance happen. There's a lot more dialogue that you'll play through, but as long as you select what you feel Judy will want to hear, then you'll be fine. Another good tip for Judy is to always accept the request when she calls you because you have the option not to. You'll meet Judy in the main quest early in the game. Your responses do not matter in these main quests that she is in. After the main quest double life and later in the game, Judy will call you and accept this mission to get the first side quest called Both Sides Now. Your choices in this side job don't matter. The next side job from Judy is called X Factor and again your decisions during this one don't matter. Once you get the talking about a revolution side quest, there are a few choices to take note of. After sparring with Tom and Judy's apartment, you'll want to select You Can Count On Me, and that will lead you to the next quest. And then in the next dialogue, Judy wants to pay for your help, you want to choose these dialogue options. Out of the question, forget about it, it's past, lean, sure, thanks. This will make you spend the night on the couch, and she'll leave you breakfast in the morning. In the next job called Pisces, there's a very important dialogue to get right. Getting this wrong can result in Judy being angry and deleting you from her contacts, and if this happens, then obviously you cannot romance her. It is when you reach the penthouse where the gang bosses are sitting. When the options come up, you want to select, let's do this, who are the other two, do my best, jack them out, hold on, think you've gone too far, and then draw a weapon, let's cut to the quick. You will then need to kill the three gang bosses before one more exchange with Maiko. During this one, just make sure that you select what, and then you try to cheat us all. You will then need to kill Maiko, and join the final conversation with Judy at the end of this quest. It doesn't matter what you choose, and Judy will appear shocked regardless, but this is fine. And then after about a week in game, Judy will call you with a final mission called Pyramid Song. When you meet up with her, make sure that you reply, hell yeah, I'm in, to go diving with her. Just do this diving trip how you like. It doesn't matter if you do the optional objectives or not. Just as a side note though, if you are a male character here and compliment her on a wetsuit, she'll be repulsed. And then underwater when she stops, if you look at her buttocks, she'll then be really mad at you and insult you. But moving on, as a female character, when you return from the dive, you must accept Judy's invite to spend the night at the cottage. If you choose bad idea, you miss your chance to romance her. And then when you are in the bathroom with Judy, choose sit, we are still synced, and then touch, it is ours to kiss her. This will then lead to a romance scene, but you don't get this option as a male character. And then the next morning, make sure you choose a dialogue option, the beginning of something amazing, to start a relationship with Judy. This then concludes Judy's side quests. River is next up and he only likes girls, so if you are a male character you cannot romance him. Some point after completing the main quest called Life During Wartime, you'll automatically get a call from Elizabeth Perellas which triggers River's set of side quests. The first one is called I Fought the Law and your choices in this mission do not matter. The second side quest that you do is called The Hunt and there's a lot to look out for here. After being caught by Dr. Packard in the police station, make sure that you select the options Hasn't Let Me Down Yet and I Want to See for Myself. While walking out of the police archive and Johnny shows up, select Rivers All Right. 
and then during the car ride make sure that you choose sign me up for that beer. The next choice is vital and it is at the trailer after you've searched around these laptop for clues. You will sit down and talk with Joss and whether I'll ask you for your help. You must choose the option course or River's side quest will end here and you cannot romance him. You will then go through three brain dances. All of the clues are highlighted in the timeline at the top of the screen. Just try and make sure that you view all clues and at the end of these brain dances River will automatically choose Edgewood Farm. If you fail to scan enough clues though you'll have to guess the farm. Just make sure that you guess Edgewood Farm and you'll be okay. Picking any other option here will fail the quest and there'll be no romance. You'll now go to Edgewood Farm and you must save Randy. As long as you follow the objectives given to you on screen, you will save him. After rescuing him, you'll speak with River and if you are female, you'll have some options that will show that you're interested in the relationship. So make sure that you choose these and then also choose I'll help you and then just remember you can count on me. After this quest, you'll eventually get a call from River to start the following the River quest. He'll ask you around for some food, so make sure that you accept. The only two options that matter during this quest is that you choose to kiss River both times that you get the option to. The second time will initiate the romance scene with River. Even as a male, I was able to get the kiss option at the end, but he refuses he only likes females. The next morning, just tell him that you like being with him to turn this into a relationship. There are now just two more romances to go and we're going to cover the rogue romance. This romance will actually take place with V's body being controlled by Johnny and it always goes the same way so without spoiling anything whatever happens is just what happens. This is an easy one to trigger but you can still miss it. Near the end of the game you'll complete a main quest called Tapeworm and unlock a side quest called Chipping In. At the very end of the Chipping In quest you'll have a conversation with Johnny at a grave. Here you must befriend Johnny or you'll not get the next quest called Blistering Love. It is in the blistering love side quest that you romance rogue and it doesn't matter if you're female or male. To befriend Johnny and unlock blistering love, choose these options when you get to this conversation. The guy who saved my life. Nah, fuck that up too. What do you want from me? Okay, but as second chances go, this is your last. You were a real dick at the beginning. When you said that you let your friends down. Smash a biz really got to her and then yeah, I'll call rogue. The Blistering Love side quest will automatically unlock after this and there are no special requirements for that. Just do the side quest and the romance will happen. And then Kerry is the final romance in the game. Kerry's set of side quests won't actually unlock until you've done the Blistering Love quest. If you don't befriend Johnny and Chipping In, then Blistering Love won't unlock and you'll move straight onto Kerry's side quest so they are not missable. Kerry is gay and you're only able to romance him if you are a male character. His first job is called Holding On and your decisions won't matter during this side job. In fact, your decisions won't matter for the next four jobs either. They are called Second Conflict, I Like Supreme, Rebel Rebel and I Don't Want to Hear It. The side quest called Off the Leash is the first quest with Kerry where decision counts. You'll eventually talk to Kerry on a balcony and you must choose these options. Lean, glad we got a moment to ourselves. You can tell me, but you did make it. Maybe it's time you stop being afraid and then kiss Kerry, yes. The final job for Kerry is called Boat Drinks and you'll need to head to his yacht. Once there, select these dialogue options. Ahoy back at ya. Sit, yeah, and the next few lines of dialogue don't matter until Kerry stands up. At this point, select Stand, Let's Play. Follow Kerry into his yacht and select the option Let's Rip the Whole Fucking Boat Apart. And then proceed to smash things up and Kerry will walk over to a lever on the wall. Follow him and select Help Kerry and then Kiss Him. This will then result in a romance scene with Kerry. After the scene and at the beach, choose these options. Sit, beautiful, isn't it? Preem way to settle a score. Hug pencil me in and then course. This will then start a relationship with Kerry and you'll be able to hang with him at his place. There are no more romance scenes though. And these are all the romances in Cyberpunk 2077. If this video has been helpful then please be sure to hit like and share it where you can. Consider subscribing for more content from me. And now head down to my video description to find more Cyberpunk content in playlists that I've linked for you. This is now the end of the video. Thank you all so much for watching and until next time, stay safe and peace out. Oh, 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 oh,